All right, we're back with part two. I've had a day and a half of snafus and, and not getting things to go right. I had, you can see this guy's pretty well carved. I was videotaping this and for somehow my DJI Osmo action, I switched it to slow-mo. So I did, you know, I kept fix, I didn't understand what was happening. Every five minutes it would switch to another video, make another video every five minutes and 27 seconds. I go to download that stuff and I look at it and it's in slow-mo. So, okay, what do you do when you don't know what you're doing? Google. So I Googled how to speed it up and I found out that when I put it into the Microsoft video program that I'm using, I could speed up the thing and I got it up to 8, 8x, but it has no sound. So I cobbled all those five minute videos together, made a decent video of them, started doing voiceover and realized I had missed some videos that I had deleted and they were not in the right order. So after yesterday and the day this morning trying to figure out what was going on, I decided start all over. You deserve me doing it right and starting all over. So anyway, we'll we'll get to this. And I may, by the time we get to this, I may I may finish carving that one. But it's not a not a disaster because it's not going to go away. I will always have that one, and I can always play with that one. I'm looking for my pen because we're going to start by drawing. <clears throat> I've gone out to the bandsaw. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've gone out to the bandsaw and I've gone out to the drill press, and I've made all of this stuff. Cut cut these two pieces out, and I'm ready to go. I've got the head and I've got the body. So we're going to work on the head first. This is out of three inch wood, as I said earlier, in the video. And so we're going to make our make our marks three inches all the way around. And I'm take my glove off for that so I can hold it better. But I like to make center lines. So this is right at three inches. So at an inch and a half, which should come right down the middle of the neck, I've got inch and a half. I'm going to make those marks all the way around so that I know where they're at. And I can continue doing that. Sorry, I'm a little off the screen. I'm not trying to be. It's just awkward to do this. I normally carve right up against my chest and this carving on the table or carving down here so I get a close-up picture is a little bit a little bit awkward for me I'll muddle through and then sometimes I may take it down to my chest and carve something and bring it back up to the screen but I, I uh, many of you notice I don't have a full set of fingers I had a table saw accident a number of years ago and it uh, it's not fun it's uh, makes it dif things difficult for me than they should be Anyway, connect those lines, connect the dots. Remember those things when you were a kid, you're connecting the dots. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because if it's off just a little bit, well, maybe that's, that's the way he's looking. He's looking to that side. But anyway, we're going to connect these dots and make sure that we're staying somewhat near the center line in everything that we do. So that's the center line. It's going to help me define how narrow the hat is. It's going to help me define how narrow the face is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just roughly estimate where half of that is and make a center line all the way around that. So I'm, I did it in half and now I'm doing it in quarters. So if my, my, my uh, head will be divided into halves half or quarter 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 and i'm just eyeballing this i don't have to be perfect because when i get to carving all these lines are going to go away anyway but it just gives me an idea where they're going to be i do that by figuring out where the line is going to be and then put my anchor finger right there and i just drag it all the way along and it, it generally as long as my finger doesn't doesn't shift much it gives me the rough estimate of where everything's going to be and I don't have to measure every line all the time. I got a little bit off there, but no big deal. I'm going to draw where the brim is. Brim is going to come up here like this. And that's an awful thick, wide brim. And so at some point in the carving, I could I could trim it down and make it smaller. And it would give me more of a face. Because if I if I have this too far down here, I won't have room for eyes and I'll have a no see -em. I want it. I want to make sure I have room for that. First part I want to start with is this part of the hat. I want to take off this part of the hat, or this part of this part of the crown, rather. No, I don't want to say hat; it'll be taken off the brim. You don't want to be taken off that. But this part of the of the crown, 
this part here. I'm going to do that on both sides of the hat. And this is what we call just the hogging out part. I, uh, our local Channel 6 and our local reporter Don Nelson called up our club president not too long ago and said, hey, we'd like to, we'd like to talk to you about wood carving and see if it's a lost art. And I was the one that was picked to talk to the reporter. And when I mentioned hogging out, they thought that was funny. And in fact, that made it into the intro, the intro part of what we were, what we're carving. And, and I thought, okay, some people are a little, uh, a little tickled by, by, by a word or two. But we, anyway, we're going to have some fun with this. I mentioned in the last video that I had these here. I'm going to cut those off. That's what's left over when I, when I cut the hat or cut the head rather on the on the bandsaw and so this might be better done with a fishtail gouge but I, I got this is the one I reached for and this one I got I'll come back here and I'll clean that up later but at least now you know where the head's going to be I always start with these two pieces that's the first piece I'm going to take out and so I'm going to grab two things I'm going to grab a big big tool Here's a big file the number. It says 12 here, so I don't know what 12 means, but it's a file. And if you'll let me grab, give me a minute, and I'll grab a ruler. I'll tell you what size that is. <laughs> it is for for us Americans. It is right at five eighths of an inch long, uh, wide from ear to ear. For my Canadian brothers and sisters, or any Europeans that are watching, this is roughly about 10 10. 10 millimeters about a centimeter uh, about a centimeter thick okay wide not thick, wide first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start taking off this because here's what we here's what we want to do we want to round this hat down to the, like this the first thing to do is to outline where the top of the brim is going to be and so i'm just using that to get that out of there do the same thing. I've got a little mark right here that I got to remember where the center of my camera is. So um, I wish you could yell at me and tell me get in the get in the picture. But um, this is videotaping, so it might uh, might it might be almost impossible to do that. So I've done it under the hat, and I'm gonna do it above the hat as well. Under the hat, I'll come to later because I'm not so much worried about that. And so now what I'm gonna do is grab whatever. You should use whatever removable tool you like to use. I like to use a couple of them when I'm doing this because this is this is hogging out. And so in addition to the knife, I'll come back to the V-tool. But I'm going to use a, this is a Stubai, has no numbers on it that I can tell. Oh, there it is. Looks like a number 11. And the width of this one is, is significant. It's pretty big. So on on this one, it's, a, it's right at uh, 11 millimeters wide. So almost a centimeter. And then the other one I'm going to use is this Denny OCC wide one too. So this one is about a centimeter wide as well. Or for Americans, it's about three quarter, no, 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 half inch. This one's great because what I can do is I can come in here and I can just hog out a lot of wood so I'll, I'll try to stay within the picture but the other thing is to do it this way as well I'm gonna come in here with a big knife and I'm just gonna cut out those pieces of wood and it's this is easy to do on the back of the hat I'm going with the grain when I go in the front of the hat the grain's running this way, and so as I cut this way to cut that front of that hat, it gets a little bit wonky, and so it wants to split on me. So I got to be careful how I'm doing that. Anyway, bottom bottom line is it what it, it's just this is just taking off a lot of wood. You're getting down to these lines here, so I want to get down to this line as quickly as I can because this is the part that for those of us that have little bit of arthritis kicking in this is the part where your hands will want to give out and so whether you use a fishtail gouge or whatever tool you you use you're just going to get in here and just root out wood and there's no easy way to do that unless you're going to be a power carver 
and I got no problem whatsoever with power carving. A lot of my friends carve power. And I have a, a dear friend that just recently passed away in the last couple of years. He's, he had bad arthritis in his hands, and he made no bones about that, and I didn't criticize whatsoever because I, I, I'm, like, I'm like this. I teach wood carving, I show wood carving, I demo wood carving, I do YouTube videos, obviously. And at any moment of any day, of anywhere, I'll sit down and talk to somebody about carving because I've been I've been aiming to be a carver for a long time. Seeing that when I was growing up and then seeing it as I was an adult. I had the opportunity to spend some time in, in Germany in the in the part in Kirk Obramergau, part in Kirchen area, southern Germany. And there's a huge carving tradition down there. Anyway, I'm I'm firm and fond of saying you need to carve whatever makes you happy. If you like carving zombies, then you should stick to carving zombies. If you like carving with a knife instead of a V-tool, you should use that. Basically, this should be fun for you and enjoyable. And if it's not, why the heck are you doing it? If it's not fun, go find something that makes you happy, whether it's tatting, knitting, cooking, axe throwing, whatever. You should do whatever makes you happy. And, it, and not only for the process, how you do it, but for the product of how you end up with. If you like doing cowboys, stick to cowboys. If you like doing carving bears, I got no problem with that. You should do whatever makes you happy. And so... When we, when we're doing something we enjoy, there's so much more joy to it. And I have no problem with anybody saying, I'm going to go carve this, or I'm going to go do this, or I'm going to stick to this. You know what? It is your time, and as my retired friends always tell me, there's the, there's, every day is Saturday, and then there's the weekend. And so, you can't buy more time. Bottom line is you, you're given as much time on earth as you your body will allow and as, as circumstances will permit and you should enjoy what you're doing. And if every day you don't get up and view some kind of art, whether it's art of the beauty of the mountains you live in, art of the beautiful architecture in your area, art in, the, in your neighbors, what they're creating, you should view art every day. And there's just something about looking at art that is more enjoyable than most other things. I could sit here and prattle on forever about what we're doing, but anyway, we're gonna get this wood off. It might be easier if I made a stop cut and just cut that off right there. And we're just gonna we're just gonna remove that wood. We're right now again. This is just this is the, the hogging part. And so I'm gonna carve the way I was taught. And the way I've adjusted because I'm not I, it doesn't matter who I take a class from and I've taken a number of classes how they carve I'm I'm grateful to see how I carve I'm grateful to see how it's coming out so I will take I'll take instruction from anybody I can and then I'll figure out how to do it my best way I can I took a class I won't mention the instructor but I took a class in kind of did it my own way because I saw what the carving was and I thought well that's cute face is going to be I don't know how much anatomy you know but roughly when you follow the front of the neck down it comes to the middle of the front of the ear sorry the front of the ear comes to the middle of the neck so we're going to draw that line up that's a rough estimate they're not not everybody's the same way and so if you're if you're more comfortable measuring let me see what I've got over here. If you're more comfortable measuring and making sure both sides are the same width, then you know, grab a couple of couple of whatever these are called, calipers or something. I don't know. Anyway, grab some of those and make sure that from here forward, tighten this down a little bit. Here forward, that's about the, that's about what I want. And so from here forward. That's about where I want to be, right there. That's about where I want to be. And so the middle of the neck, come up here. And that's the front of the ear. If you're not sure, make a line all the way up to here, up to the top. 
and see if those lines match up because here's the line of one ear and the line of another ear. Sorry, I made two lines there. Those should line up when you look at them. Maybe you can't see them in the pencil. Let me do those. Here's my ear, the front of my ear. Follow that all the way up. Here's the front of the other ear, middle of the neck. And those lines look like they line up, so I'm close enough. If I want a sideburn, I can put a sideburn in here. The bottom of the nose is where the ear is going to be, and so I'm going to have something roughly like that. If you don't know where to draw these lines, I take this line from the nose and from the back of the hat. Back of the hat comes down here like that. Nose comes over like that. Where that, where that comes together is where my ear is going to be. And we'll see if we can get a flop over ear here. We've got a great big head. We can do that. Back of the hat. All right. Bottom of the nose should be right somewhere about right there. Okay, if you're not sure, grab your little, little handy little things here and measure them. We're going to measure from the bottom of the ear to the bottom of the chin. Bottom of the chin the bottom of the ear. See how off I was on that one? Okay, so I want to be, if I'm measuring, and I, again, measuring can be highly overrated. It depends on what you're going to do. What kind of carving are you going to do? Are you worried, of, are you a slave to dimensions? What is it, what's that saying? The enemy of done is perfection. If all your work about Knock my water bottle off. If all you're worried about is getting done, nothing has to be perfect. And if you're worried about perfection, nothing will ever get done because none of us are perfect. So I just do the best I can and call it good. Anyway, I do this because what I want to do is now take off this part of the face. I've got the front of the face, and I'm going to take it all the way down, almost all the way down to here. If I want a sideburn, I'm going to leave a little bit of length, a little bit of width there for the sideburn. Okay. And so here's what we do. Cut, 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 cut. And we're just going to take this off. And again, this is the part of the, of, the, of the rooting out. And so I've done that on both sides. I've got my ears. And I'm just going to start taking off wood. Here's For those of you that really enjoy just whittling and just cutting wood, here's where you're going to have a little bit of fun because we're just taking wood off. Be careful as you go up into here. And when you do the back of the ears, you go up into the head. But you're not slamming into there because otherwise you've got a lot of, a lot of cleanup to do. I'm going to make a stop cut in that top groove of the hat. And make that deep because you're, you're, you're not going to get your knife all the way down in there. Unless you're much better at it than I am. And all you're doing is making stop cuts in there. A couple of different ways to do that. I'm going to come in here with my fishtail gouge and I'm just going to take out wood. And I don't worry about, you know, being being uh, delicate about it. We're just cutting off wood. And that's all we're doing. We're trimming that down so that this line goes all the way down to about right there. And so however you do that, do that. Again, I'm, I'm carving kind of awkward for myself because I don't normally carve at arm's length. I carve right up against myself, but we're having fun. We're just going to have some fun. The, one of the things that I tried to stress in that interview with the reporter the other day was how enjoyable this sound is. Be real careful. Listen. That sound, sorry. This sound. That sound of removing wood. You could just be sitting here making a pile of shavings. And that sound is very, very soothing. I don't know what, I can't remember what it was called when studies were done of Bob Ross and the way he talks. And I, I'm going to butcher it. I think it was something like S-A-M-R or S-R-A-M or something like that. But it was a way of listening to something that is just soothing. So I grew up in the South, and I remember listening to rain on a, on a tin roof. There's just something soothing about that. And to me, there's something soothing about 
cutting out wood on the face. Again, I'm almost there on this side. We'll flip around and do it on the other side. We're right at 26 minutes. And so I don't want to I don't want to have these videos take so long that they take 2 days to upload. And because of my computer shuts down during that time, I've lost all of that and got to start all over. So I'll try to keep them to around 30 45 minutes, but uh that that joy of just doing a carving is just a pleasure and and listening to that sound i'm going to leave this a little thick because i may want to do the same thing with his with his sideburn okay sorry if my fingers got in the way i'm not meaning to block your view okay let me let me cut out like i did on the other side that the the bottom of the hat i understand and when we cut that hat in, I can move that up. And in fact, I might just, I might go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring this brim, this brim in more. Because I want, which is going to give me a better ear, I think, if I'm going to, if I'm going to flop over. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And that'll allow me to go back in and, and cut that in. So you don't need to watch me do the exact same thing on this side that I did on that side. So I'll stop the video here at 28 minutes do my little magic with it <laughs> that I'm learning how to do slowly but surely and come back and watch the second video. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.